Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for next seven days, perhaps. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for Gemini? Well, we got three that fell right out, so we are going to go with those. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. So you may be opening a new door. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or leather letter. <laughs> I still can't talk. Anyhow, so you probably are going to be receiving whatever this is, the package, the news, or the letter. Okay, you're going to be, you're, you're waiting for it. The bird is perched. So it hasn't, it hasn't flown yet. It hasn't come yet. Okay, you're waiting for it. Ooh. Rose. Romance is in the air. So it has not arrived yet by the looks of things, whatever this is. What do we have for Gemini? Whatever you're waiting for, it hasn't arrived yet. Romance is in the air. An opportunity is waiting for you. I feel as though there's a door that is closed right now because this door is closed, but the door is probably going to open. That's my guess. Mmm. Unexpected help is arriving. So you got some, that's a star, right? Maybe a wish is going to be granted. Unexpected help is arriving. Doesn't want responsibility. You got somebody here that doesn't want responsibility. Now this is my second Gemini reading. I did one already, but it was like really long. And uh, I sneezed and whatever, so I decided to do it over. So it, we have two options here. We had the lover's card. I believe it was on the bottom. Yes, it was. I used this deck. So, we do have an unexpected choice in love. We have a major choice in regards to our relationship. Okay, you're going to have to make a choice. When there's a choice, there's always two options at least. Okay, a choice is between more than one. <laughs> so, you're going to have to make a choice. Okay, it's a major choice. It has to do with love. It feels to me like you have a deep connection here with somebody. Uh, you may be deepening a bond with somebody that you have a lot in common with. This is somebody that... I feel like you are going to be having a face-to-face -face with. Um, if not, if it's not a face-to-face, -face, it's just deepening a bond, okay? Um, and making a choice, all right? Now, that's a union. It doesn't have to be a love relationship, but it looks like it is to me. It doesn't have to be. So you have to make a choice between two options. You have, it feels to me like you're dealing with a narcissist because we had the King of Wands and reversed. And uh, we also had Capricorn twice. So you're either dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Capricorn. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius because the first card out and that other one was the star card, which is unexpected help is arriving. And this is the star card in my deck, okay? So you do have uh, unexpected help arriving. Um, expect the unexpected, Gemini. Karma. Oh, we had justice in the other one too. So this is about karma. There's a car something about a karmic contract and getting what you deserve. Um, I do believe you are going to be dealing with some sort of contract this week. Whether Well, obviously, you're going to have to make a choice. This is about rebalancing the scales. You're also probably going to be receiving a phone call that changes everything, perhaps. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this deck again, I suppose. What do we have for Gemini? Getting what you deserve. Some truth truth being revealed. You're dealing... It's interesting. You definitely have two people here because you got one that is your wish fulfillment. You may not see it as wish fulfillment because you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want responsibility. You know, the karma, the scales, there's two sides. There's definitely two options here. No doubt about it. Uh, we have grieving, we have suffering, and we have moving on. So you may be moving on from something. Perhaps you're leaving. This is a time of transition, leaving something painful behind. 
um, painful separation perhaps you may be going through a painful separation moving on somebody's moving on page of wands this is an offer or an invite good news that is arriving so you got some good news coming Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups about happiness. So uh, it's abundance that comes after the Wish Fulfillment card. So you, you, there could be a new suitor that is bursting into your world with that Page of Wands. Somebody that you have a lot in common with. <sighs> Going in a new direction. Uh, this is exciting. A new, taking a new approach. This is a happy happiness, right? There's an opportunity for happiness here. Eight of Swords now. Eight of Swords is trapped. So we got somebody here is trapped. They are tied to a situation. Need to break free. You need to find your courage. You can do it. Some of you need to break free from something. You need to find your inner strength. You need to find the, the Page of Wands is I can, I can, I can, I can, I can do it. So you need to find your strength to break free from something that is restricting you. Maybe a previous relationship from your past. We saw I saw that a lot in the other one. Maybe it's somebody that you're already committed to. You're committed to this person for some reason. Um, maybe you have a karmic contract. There is a contract here. Maybe you're maybe it's a legal contract that you're involved in. And this could be even a job. It's some sort of contract that you need to break free from. It's not serving you. It's not bringing you. The growth, and it's not going to be easy. I feel like you're searching for more. You're wanting that happiness. You're going to be receiving an offer or an invite. It's probably unexpected. This can help you to break free from your current situation, but you're going to have to take a risk. Oh, oh justice reversed. And in the last one, it did come out reversed. So there is some sort of karmic contract that needs to end. You have been treated unfairly. This is, an, this is unfair treatment. There's lies. There's deception. Um, there could be some legal losses here. So I'm not sure if you're going through legal losses or if somebody is just lying to you. Uh, there's definitely a, a trap, okay? The Eight of Swords is a trap. There's legal flaws. Um, there could even be somebody that's going to jail. Um, something not turning out. Something may not be turning out in your favor. Um, consider it a blessing. And I saw that in the other one. Considering a blessing in disguise. Some of you may uh, be holding on to a relationship where there's a lot of emptiness. You know, there's a lot of... Uh, mental conflict, un unable to break free because of fear or there's some something that is holding you back from breaking free. Maybe it's just that, you know, that you're tied to it. You're tied to some sort of contract that I feel like you're you're wanting out of. You want to go in a new direction. You you may have wished that you never got yourself in this contract. And this is like, and, and I'm going to use the word marriage. Marriage doesn't have to be between two people. It could be buying a home. You, you, you married that loan company. You know, it could be a job contract. You know, it's like a breaking free from that contract. I do think that you want out. I feel like you want to go in a new direction and you're, you're looking for happiness. But right now, I feel like you're overwhelmed. You're still carrying this weight. You're still... You're still uh, being held down by whatever this is. It's like it's a big, huge burden on your back. It's like you're, you're carrying all this weight on your back. And you need to find your strength and your willpower to break out of that, this situation, whatever it is. It's like you need to find a way to get out of this. And it's going to take willpower and, your, and confidence, a lot of confidence. Um, it's like you guys just I feel like you're searching for happiness, right? You're searching for it, but you're in a karmic contract that only you can break free from. Nobody's gonna set you free. You have to set yourself free. You you have to you have to take it, okay? You have to you have to sever those ties. You have to find your 
courage to sever ties from somebody and to be honest with yourself. It almost feels like you've been in denial and I do feel so because of that mask, you know, over the eyes. You need to open your eyes. You need, you, you, you need to break free from it yourself. Nobody's going to break you free but you. It's going to take courage. I feel like you've been you you've got a lot on your plate right now. You're feeling overwhelmed. You, maybe you're feeling overwhelmed with, you know, what life has dealt you. I feel like you've been overextending yourself as well. Empress upright. Now this is a new baby, right? A new baby. A new baby can be many different things, right? This is giving birth. Okay. Maybe, maybe you're getting a new baby. A new baby uh, could be a person. It could also be an animal. It could be a car. It could be a house. It could be a job. This is nurturing something. This could also be taking care of yourself. So I think that it is time for you to uh, take care of business. You need to nurture yourself. not treated fairly some of you are also dealing with an empress you may have somebody here that can help you that can that we do have unexpected help is arriving the empress is a mother <coughs> could also be dealing with a taurus or a libra there's been some sort of unfair treatment here there's a need to uh, deal with some pain to receive a blessing there is a blessing that is coming you are about to receive a blessing but you need to break free. You need to break free from some sort of mentality. You need to break a contract. You need to break a contract with somebody. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't want responsibility. There could be an argument with no resolution in sight. I feel like there's some sort of extreme frustrations here with the temperance card reverse. This is what you don't see coming. This is upheaval, chaos ungroundedness, emotions all over the place. This is somebody that cannot manage their emotions. There could even be some hostilities here. It feels like we got somebody here that is unstable. This person is emotionally unstable. They're going overboard. They can't control themselves. I wonder if we have somebody here that is out of control, that is breaking the law, that could end up in jail or end up in prison. Just got to be honest. Could be dealing with a child, a family member. Somebody is doing something. They don't want responsibility. There could be some legal issues. It's interesting that we are hearing the sirens. Because you have basically have justice twice. You know, there's always a loser and a winner, a plaintiff and a defendant. Somebody could end up, you know, losing something. There could be some legal flaws or legal, uh, you know, something doesn't go in your favor. Something doesn't go in your favor. We have somebody here that is doing something spontaneous as well with the Page of Wands. That is spontaneous. This is somebody that is fearless, is do it, taking a risk doing something risky not fair this isn't fair justice reverse isn't fair this isn't fair taking action taking action somebody like it feels like we have somebody here that's trying to trap somebody as well We have somebody here that's unbalanced. It's interesting because justice is reversed and then this is reversed. That's unbalanced. We have somebody here that's unbalanced. They're mentally unbalanced.
death. Death, death, death is an ending, an ending that leads to a new beginning right next to the Empress. So we have death, transformation, transition, profound life change. Something is coming to an end. The end of a relationship, it's by the Ten of Cups, the end of a marriage, the end of a contract. The birth of a new life, endings lead to new beginnings, death right next to the Empress. I mean, that's an ending that leads to a new beginning. It is. So we definitely have an ending that leads to a new beginning. It's beautiful. I mean, the Empress is, is beautiful. This is a domestic goddess that takes care of everything, that nurtures everything. Breaking free. This is a painful separation. Separation or loss with a new beginning to follow. A new life begins. It's beautiful. This is a blessing. Somebody's about to receive a blessing after an ending that they didn't ask for. You know, I didn't ask for this with the justice reverse. It's something not going in your favor. We have somebody here that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They This is like a guilty conscience. It's guilty. Knight of Pentacles. Golden opportunity. Laying a new foundation. Working hard. Putting in effort. Somebody is going to be receiving an offer that is solid. It's secure. May have something to do with a mother. May also be from a sibling. Knight of Pentacles. That is that is a building a new foundation, taking baby steps. It's a huge offer. Somebody is receiving a huge offer. Could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The end of restrictions. An offer or an invite is coming. All is not as it seems. We have the moon here. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Something is hidden. Somebody is hiding something. There, there could be some addictions here. We may have somebody here that has some addictions. This person may be headed towards stability, which is interesting. All is not as it seems. There is some sort of illusion here. Something is not practical. There's a need to be grounded, but also fluid. Because this is a life change. It is a major life change. You are about to receive a solid offer that you don't see coming. It is below the surface right now. There's your unexpected help is arriving. This is from somebody that is loyal, solid, stable, hardworking. They have something that can help you to break free from this situation. It could be a bank, it could be a mother, it could be a parent, it could be a sibling. Somebody is going to be receiving something that they don't expect that is going to help them to break free from whatever this contract is that they shouldn't have signed up for. It's going to make you really, 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 really happy because it's going to help you to break free. Oh, 
judgment, life changing. This is the end of things. It is the end of things. So this is, the, it really is beautiful because the Empress gives birth to a new life. It's a blessing. It's a miracle. It's beautiful after some sort of pain, some serious pain. So I don't know if you've been going through some serious pain. I feel like there's some sort of truth that is about to be revealed. You are about to receive a blessing. There's forgiveness here. This is a life-changing decision that is being made with this judgment card. This is like uh, the end of things. It's the end of a trial. It's, it is it's the end of a trial. We have karma like three freaking times here too. So it's the end. It's the end of a karmic contract. It's, just, it's finally over. It's finally over. So something is finally ending. There's going to be, I feel like that there's going to be a judgment made. This is acceptance. It is release. It is let go. Forgive. Moving on. Moving on from that bad choice. Freedom with the death card. Some of you are dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. An offer or an invite, good news is arriving. You have been treated unfairly. There's some sort of unfair treatment here or you got yourself into a contract and now you're trapped in it. Breaking free, it's time of transition. Stepping into a new life, all is not as it seems. You're gonna be receiving a gift from somebody that you don't expect that is going to help you to break free from this circumstance that you have been a victim of you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want responsibility I feel like they've broken the law and karma never like I always say karma never loses a dress karma is about to be served justice is about to be served it is somebody is about to be held accountable for their actions they are that's accountability. Responsibility being assigned. This is the end of things. It is the end of things. So something is definitely coming to an end. There's a rebalancing of the scales. There's an opportunity that is waiting for you that is about to be given to you. This could be a financial opportunity with that pay, that Knight of Pentacles. This is it could be a gift of money. I don't know what it is. It is something that is going to help you financially to break free. It's like you didn't get what you deserve. You didn't get what you deserve. Some of you have been lied to. You've been lied to significantly. Whoever lied to you, I don't know if this person's going to jail or they're going to prison or what is happening. They could be getting caught, do, caught doing something. I just shuffle. We get the sun card, which you don't see coming is happiness, extreme happiness. This is a breakthrough. It's a new day. It is a new beginning. It's beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new life. This is a life-giving energy. This is a warm place. It's extreme happiness. It's positive. It's being accepted. It's being, you can just be yourself. This is totally a blessing. You have a lot of majors as well. So I feel like this is universally driven. It's like the universe is driving you in a new direction. 
It's a positive. This is freedom as well. So we have we have freedom a few times. You're being freed from some sort of situation that has restricted you or confined you. I also feel like there's a reevaluation here. Maybe there's a reevaluation of truth. Somebody, something may be being re-looked at and, you know, I don't know, if something didn't go in somebody's favor, if there was some legal issues, there's like a re-evaluation going on. We definitely have a new beginning here. This is beautiful. It's really beautiful. This is extremely happy. You're going to be receiving something that makes you extremely happy. And gives you a chance at a new life. This is because the judgment is a chance. It's like another chance. It's a chance at a new life. This is a new life. It's a new beginning. It really is. It's beautiful. But I feel like you're going to have to make a decision with that lover's card that we had. And, and uh, justice is about decision. Be honest with yourself. You have to make a decision. You may have to break free from a karmic contract. You have to be honest with yourself to receive this blessing. It's love, okay? It is really, really love. It really is. Love and abundance because that's what the Empress brings, love and abundance. You don't see something coming. It hasn't arrived yet. You are about to receive it. This is a true, 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 true blessing. It is. There's also some truth that is going to... It's like the truth sets you free. Whatever the truth is. The truth sets you free. There could be a judgment that is made in your favor. Somebody could be giving you a gift of money. I'm not sure what that is, but you could be getting a gift of money. It could be from a stranger. doesn't have to be this is a new day it's a breakthrough it's beautiful it really is you're about to receive an offer or an invite that helps you in some way good luck could lead to a relationship a happy relationship with that ten of cups a very happy relationship Whoever is making this offer, <laughs> I know I said good luck. Whoever is making this offer is uh, a hard worker. They have they have a they are very skilled at whatever they do. They have some sort of skill set set. This person is not fly by the seat of their pants. This is somebody that plans has been planning. Okay, this is somebody that plans. You know, it feels like they have been. Keeping it to themselves, you know, they haven't been, they haven't been communicating, they've been keeping it to themselves. I don't know what this is. It may be even an inheritance or something like that. I'm not sure if we have somebody here that is passing away that is giving you some money or has passed away. I mean, I just got to be honest with you with that death card. Doesn't have to be though. Whatever we have here, we have we have a new life, okay? With the with the Empress and the Death card, that is a new life. That is the that is an ending that leads to a new life. It is absolutely beautiful. I do believe that there is an unclear and difficult path ahead. There's hard work ahead, but it's beautiful, okay? Anyhow, you are about to receive an offer or an invite it makes you very happy. Good luck.